hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is jason newland this is let me bore you to sleep with some weird <coughs> gurgly sounds from my stomach as i speak which kind of rhymes doesn't it please only listen when you can safely close your eyes now um I've got an itchy forehead. I bought these face wipes uh which are supposed to be anti aging to rejuvenate your skin and all that stuff, you know. And last week I had a spot on my nose, that's kinda of gone now, and I kinda of feel like I've almost getting a spot on my forehead. So I looked at the ingredients on this uh these things and it's ninety percent lard. So basically they're doing a they're tricking you. So it's got lard, so you put lard into your skin and it's basically causing spots so you feel you get you get that feeling of youth again feeling of having pimples pimpled skin um, that was all a lie that was a lie so I'm gonna I'm gonna lean back I'm feeling in quite a good uh, space at the moment feeling quite good very relaxed been working on my website I had a couple of lovely surprises today uh, a couple of gifts from two friends so I'm very um, very grateful to both of those people and so it's a lovely Chris, early Christmas gifts which would definitely help me with food and you know things like that so I'm feeling yeah I'm feeling uplifted I feel see I'm not money motivated as a person I generally not if you if you anyone who knows me would tell you that it's 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 not that I'm I'm not like anti money although my attitude towards money probably has like psychologically or you know when you talk about the universe giving you what you want I've kind of not really um, been very positive towards money uh, which I think is a mistake you know because money is it opens opportunities to um, do more to help more people and yeah, so I've I, I need to sort of get my head around um, the fact that actually money isn't a bad thing. No, I don't feel like I feel that way, but I don't necessarily <laughs> feel that it's a good thing. So I need to sort of get my head around that because when I do have a little bit extra, it does make the world a difference to my lifestyle even if it is just for a week or two and also to my yeah, emotional well-being it does improve it a little bit because the, the worrying about finances and stuff kind of goes away for a little bit which is quite nice you know um, so you know I mean this morning when I woke up or whenever I woke up, I had a twenty pound left to last me till next. No, probably less than that. Probably ten pound. Twenty pound in the bank, but I don't know why it's. It should be less because there should have been some money come out. But so twenty pound in the bank until next Thursday. 
well, this coming Thursday, because it's now Monday. So I was figuring out, well, I should have enough food and I'll try and make that £20. Well, I had no choice. I have to make it last till the Thursday. And it's... So I promised to take... There's a a, la- a girl, a lady, whatever, and that sells the big issue. She's sort of for homeless charity. She's uh, she stands on the street all day long, all weather, you know, all year, selling the big issue, which is uh, to help people that are homeless. And I promised her that I was going to buy a Christmas dinner before Christmas. And. The last chance to do that would be this week, and I realised that I wouldn't have enough money to do that because I don't know how much it costs to buy a Christmas dinner, but it's probably going to be at least ten, twelve pound, I suppose. And it's uh, I'll be able to do that now, so that'd be good, and. Oh yeah, I've got a um, what have I got? I got a competition that I started yesterday, and I don't know those of you that have been to my website um, would know that the website has changed from what it was a few weeks ago so I kind of lost that website and I wasn't able to get it back without paying a lot of money which I just didn't have and didn't feel it was worth the amount of money I was sort of being asked to pay so I rebuilt it and it's it's up and running. It's just in a, a different format, but it's still I think it's a fairly good website, and it's got all of my latest recordings on on there. All of the recordings from the "Let Me Bore You to Sleep" ones, all of the relaxation, hypnosis for stress, um, anxiety, and panic attack, uh, all of the deep sleep whisper hypnosis recordings and all of the sleep hypnosis weekly recordings so all of those are on there I will be adding the back catalogue of all the other stuff that I've got as well eventually I just need to kind of tidy it up as it is now so I've got the uh, the structure if that makes sense so what um, the main thing I really lost with the last website was the testimonials and I had quite a few people actually write testimonials in the last couple of months and I I feel I feel bad and I feel cheeky really just asking people to do it again you know but I am going to but I've done it with an incentive Um, so I've, I've got a competition and the competition has changed since yesterday. It's uh, like everything, I suppose, it, it grows. It kind of adapts to the circumstances. Now, what I didn't realise that, or I didn't, I didn't give consideration to um, the possibilities that, first of all, not everybody has the ability to make a video, because what what I was asking for was a video review. So you go in, you go to the website, click on the review page. It's just the page that says review. Click on that, fill in a little form, and then just click on the video um, picture. And you can either add a video that's already been produced, you've already recorded rather. Uh, you don't have to go and get you know don't have to hire Steven Spielberg or anything just just a standard 
30 second video or something like that and or if you're on your phone you can actually do it there and then actually record it directly onto the system so this is costing me ten dollars a month to have this <laughs> to have this system on there so I might as well start trying to use it you know in order to have people uh, be able to add videos and video reviews and stuff and pictures and you know other things like that so I'm trying to make the website as groovy as possible it's going to take a while but I, so I'm getting to know how to do certain things and everything on there is still free I've took all the adverts off of all of my podcasts so there's no um, there's no revenue coming in to cover the costs of anything so what I thought how could uh, the people the the listeners yourself uh, or people on YouTube watching you know uh, contribute uh, or sort of help to uh, spread the word you know so what I thought is I'd ask for video testimonials or video reviews so I did this competition and I made a little video, stuck it on Facebook, it's on YouTube as well. And that's it really, just asking for you to uh, make a video review. And what I was going to offer is you'll be put into a I don't know what to do, a raffle. It'd be kind of like a raffle thing, you know, where you'd be put into a bucket. And although I might try and look for one of those machines that actually does it for you, that spins the balls or something, I don't know. I'll figure out a way. And the winner will win a an Amazon Echo Dot. So, and it's brand new, it's in a box with packaging, untouched. Well, I suppose the people that made it touched it, but you know. And what I'll probably do is uh, I'll wrap it up in um, Christmas wrapping paper as well. So it'll be a, a present from me to you. Now, the I'm going to send it to anyone in the world, wherever you are, it will be sent to you. So, you know, I'm covering the costs of the packaging, which would probably cost more than the actual item if you're living in Australia or America. I don't know, but it's, you know, it's a good... I've actually got an Echo Dot myself. It's really good. And uh, I use it. Uh, Well, I've actually got... I'm going to say the word Alexa really quietly. Because if I say it too loudly, she'll start saying, Yes, JJ, what do you want? And um, so it's, it's really good. It connects to, especially if you've got Amazon stuff like uh, Amazon Music, or if you want to know what the weather is, temperature, if you, you just want to ask a question, basically, it's, 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 it's quite a bit of fun. If you haven't got one, all you need is just the internet to connect it to. Uh, It's wireless as well. It's it does have a plug, Um, so you'd have to perhaps get a plug adapter or something. Because I think it's a European plug. It's got yeah, would have, but you can get one of those fairly, fairly, fairly easily anyway for wherever you are so that that is that's what I'm going to do so that's what I've put forward now I've had a couple of video reviews put on added and it gets added automatically as soon as you add it it's added on there as well as the written reviews as well but out of I think six four of them were written reviews I've had so far 
and a couple of people said that they they didn't feel comfortable speaking on video another person contacted me saying they weren't able to to access you know to do videos but they can leave a like a written review so what I thought I would do because it seems unfair not to include people that have left a review because I've asked is everybody that leaves a review between now and Christmas Day which is when I'm going to announce the results on Christmas Day on a live Facebook broadcast Christmas Day it's going to be let me bore you to sleep Christmas special or something I don't know and what I've what I'm going to do is those that have left a written testimonial their name will go into the box or into the competition those who have left a video testimonial their name will go in twice so there's twice as much chance of them you know if you've made a video twice as much chance oh, I think I should do three names in there shouldn't I give you three times the amount but I think twice is fair so twice as much chance to win as uh, as the person that's done the written one but I think it's only fair that I include the people that have written down a review because you know it's, it's kind it's kind for them to do that kindness of you who's done that to do that that done that to do that that did that but also I don't want to take away the competition uh, from people uh, that have left a video because that was the idea behind it to have some video testimonials because I haven't had I haven't requested video testimonials since I think 2011 so it's you know, a good 8 years I had quite a few testimonials on YouTube and I think I did a competition then as well so write, write a video testimonial and or make a video testimonial stick it on your YouTube channel and then I'll sort of link it to my YouTube channel and just tell me how you feel about what, what I do and that and I did have a few I probably had about 20 maybe less but it was, I had quite a few video testimonials and I think the thing that I was giving away then was a box set. I think it might have been the Sopranos or the Wire box set. I'm not totally sure. Um, DVD box set. So if this goes well, then I'm going to do a competition every month. so I'll do another one in January in fact what I'll do is yeah I'll do this one and it ends Christmas Eve or Christmas Day rather and then I'll start another one maybe New Year's Day perhaps we'll see you know, I do have a tendency of changing my mind so I might do it on a different day but definitely going to end this competition on uh, December the 25th uh, Christmas Day this chair <laughs> oh. there must be a way of stopping it from squeaking well, I've tried to get rid of it and get a new one that didn't work out too well so uh So yeah, so that's what I've um, got planned there. So if you would like to participate in this competition and win an Echo Dot, an Amazon Echo Dot, brand new, still in the box and still got wrapping around the box, 
and I will send it to you wherever you are in the world and you will be grateful <laughs> you will you will be so happy so you know that's, that's one of the things I do have a couple of other special ideas um, as well but uh, I'll keep that I'll keep that to myself it's it's I've got a few a few thoughts of well I won't keep it to myself I'll talk about it I don't like keeping things to myself I thought maybe with the coming year 2020 I'd like to up my game somewhat I'd like to I'd like to do more make more recordings do these let me bore you to sleep every day next year do the deep sleep whisper hypnosis recordings every day next year do one of each uh, I did a I did one today actually earlier deep sleep whisper I think it was 169 so that's not bad is it I've done a few of them and I'd like I'd like to do one recording for my relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks but not necessarily um, well, I might I'll do them but it might be specifically a relaxation session so it won't just be some of them are me talking and talking about my experience talking about you know maybe some ideas but I'm also going to be making some deep relaxation sessions as well on that podcast because that's the podcast that has the audience for the relaxation sessions and the relaxation podcast, which has two hundred and to about two hundred and thirty recordings on, hardly gets a look. So I need to kind of focus on the places where people are that are coming to listen, if that makes sense. And I'd like to the sleep hypnosis weekly stick to that as well and make sure I do one every week because it is I left it about five weeks between recordings uh, I did a, a new one a few days ago but that was like about five weeks since the last one which is just ridiculous so I need to, well I want to, I don't need to, but I want to uh, be more, I don't know if the word is reliable, that's probably the word, consistent perhaps, and they're kind of both kind of a similar a similar kind of uh, texture aren't they kind of a jelly <laughs> a strawberry and banana jelly texture both of those words very wobbly I like wobbly things not blancmanges though I don't like blancmanges I like jellies although See, when I was a kid, right, see, I don't like custard. I really, really, it's one of those things, don't like it. I can eat it hot, but I won't because I don't like it. Well, what's the point? In, I'm an adult, I don't have to eat things I don't like. When, when you're a child, sometimes, not quite sure why, but adults like seem to like to force kids to eat things they don't want to eat. Which... On one level, you'd think, well, if it's fruit and vegetables and something that's good for them. 
But if it's something like custard, which has no nu- nutritional value whatsoever, unless you are stranded on a boat in the middle of the ocean and without any any food or anything, and a bowl of custard would save your life. You know, that keep you going for another day or so, probably. But outside of that situation, custard isn't probably the most nutritious thing. So, mm, you know, why why would I need to eat it? And I think it spoils stuff. You know, if you've got, um, I'm really into puddings, like steam puddings. And when I say I'm into them, I mean I'm really, really like them. However, I rarely eat them. In fact, until recently, when I got my microwave oven, I hadn't had a steam pudding probably since the last time I had access to a microwave. Did I say microphone oven or microwave oven? Microwave oven. Microphone oven. That that'd be weird, wouldn't it? That would be. My microwave is so noisy. It's, it hums when it's on. It's not that noisy then, but when it finishes, it bleeps five times. Five times. Five. I mean, why five? Not. Okay, maybe one isn't enough. You know, maybe it needs two. The washing machine only does two beeps. Doesn't do five. Only does two. But the microwave does five. I'm thinking the washing machine was there first. The microwave was trying to outdo the washing machine. Oh, you do two beeps, do you? Well, watch this. I can do five. So I don't want it to do five, especially not at early hours of the morning when I'm kind of trying to be quiet, but at the same time I still need to eat because I'm a growing lad. five times it's too much so the last time I had access to a microwave is probably 2010 yeah the end of two or I suppose January 2011 but that's when I got um, evicted from where I was living but there was a microwave there and I used to put sponge puddings in there like syrup or treacle oh. and have it with I don't know what I had it with I have this vague recollection that I used to have it with an ice chock not ice chock it doesn't even sound right the word ice chock Choc ice. Choc ice? Is that? Yeah. An ice choc. Choc ice. For those that don't know what choc ice is, it's. It's like a. It's ice cream. Like vanilla ice cream. And I don't know why it's only vanilla. I wonder, do wonder if they ever tried it. They, you know, the, the manufacturers of this particular product I wonder if it was ever tried with different types of ice cream but in in my life experience it's only ever been with vanilla ice cream and then covered in chocolate but not like a magnum when I say that I don't mean the gun I mean the the chocolate chocolate um, lolly because the magnum is very thick chocolate isn't it and then you break it and then half the chocolate actually falls off of the ice cream it's a mess, it it doesn't work strategically it doesn't work looks lovely, tastes tastes alright but it's, it's, it's awkward 
it's it's like trying to get in trying to get into my grandmother's tights it's just an awkward maneuver it's because I don't wear tights and when I say trying to get into her tights I mean she's not in the tights I'm I'm not nothing weird I'm just saying because I have put women's clothes on before and because I used to be at school and (laughs) where's this going uh I used to be in acting. I used to do drama class. I did drama during the last two years of school as a, a subject, you know, as a, like a GCSE. It wasn't called GCSE back then. It was called O level, but I think I was I was at CSE level, so I wasn't um, GCSE. Basically, mixed O level and CSE together. And so there'd be loads of clothes there. I could dress up. I used to have makeup on. And I'd have dresses, bras, high heels. And the amount of times the teacher, drama teacher, say, Jason, that costume does not match the play that we're doing. Or, you know, you don't need that. We're just doing a reading. Don't need to dress up as a woman today. But I want to. I loved it. And the thing is, I sometimes put the wrong thing on the wrong place. So I think once I had nail varnish, I liked the colour, so I thought that would look good on my lips. So I had um, bright red lips but actually you shouldn't put nail varnish on your lips should you and so that that wasn't good and then the eyelash I, I don't know so much now but I'm sure I used to have quite long eyelashes and I used to enjoy putting um, is it eyeliner or whatever and the thing is, it's, 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 you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful with that stuff. And then I used to have this makeup and used to put it all over my face. And I, it was almost like waxy stuff. I don't know. But I liked it. And I just dress up in whatever was available. I mean, the drama teacher did say that I didn't have to wear underwear. Didn't have to, not didn't have to wear underwear. He'd have got sacked for that, wouldn't he? Um, you did, I didn't have to wear women's underwear um, when I turned up for the drama class. And I said, "Oh, sorry, I didn't realise the drama was on today. I thought it'd been cancelled." He said, well, "Why are you wearing women's underwear then?" I said, oh, uh, I don't know. I didn't expect anyone to notice. He said, well, we wouldn't notice if you were wearing clothes. And we all rolled around laughing. And we had a tickle fight. It was great. And uh, so, yeah, I've worn, worn women's clothes. And that's what I'm saying about trying to get into a pair of tights. It's, which is something that I've done. I've worn girlfriend's bras. Not not like in a weird way. Just, you know, down a supermarket and great for shoplifting. <laughs> you could walk out you could walk in hands free and you can walk out hands free. And no one knows it's great. It's such didn't know you got these little secret compartments. It's good. Never realised I'd actually grow into a bra though. I didn't realise I was because I was always so slim. It wasn't that I was thinking oh, I wish I had boobies because I didn't. I like you know just from a kind of 
curious perspective just wondering if it if it would just yeah I'm not gonna yeah but so I've worn underpants I've worn underwear I think every man just like I'm sure lots of women have um I don't know what do men wear we don't really wear anything do we see men don't wear anything that are like manly really I suppose some of the underwear you would because you know it would be kind of men's underwear but I think it's like boxer shorts because I've worn boxer shorts since I was a teenager and that's something that anyone can wear whether you've got whether you're dangling or not dangling is is the boxer shorts are for everyone they're unisex but then there's nothing else is there socks do females wear socks that's a legitimate question I actually don't know no they do don't, yeah they do don't they yeah of course they do yeah, I think it, yeah yeah, you, yeah because you have to wear socks if you're wearing shoes even if there's but I think the socks are sometimes hidden aren't they so they're not kind of too far above the shoes I saw a postman two post men they were men so two postal workers um, standing around chatting and I was standing at the bus stop and it's cold so I, I didn't have my hat on because I've been growing my hair lately and I don't think it's fair to deprive the world of my hair again rhymes it's not fair and you may say I should wear a hat but I don't care that it's not fair me 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 with my hair so my hair's getting curly now because it's getting longer it's getting wild and I purposely I'm purposely allowing it to go wild because I want to see what happens to it and I'm not brushing it forward because it looks like I'm trying to cover up a bald patch. Instead, I'm just letting everyone see the bald patch. <laughs> no, um, I am receding, but I've been receding since I was about 29. So, so that's over four years. And I haven't really receded that much, although do have a little bit of thinning on the top of my head which I discovered uh, last year I think whilst making a video and I bent down to pick Andre up and as I was watching the video back because I just wanted to have a look at Andre I saw the top of my head and I thought oh because that's the thing that if you've got um, a thinning patch or a bald patch it, or a balding patch or whatever not clear balding and it shows more the longer your hair is just like the the receding hairline it seems to be more prominent the longer my hair is especially if I comb or brush my hair downwards did I say comb? I haven't used a comb uh, since the last time I had knits. I don't use combs. Brushes, not comb. Who uses? Does anyone use a comb? Has anyone ever used a comb since the Fonzie? Hey. Cool. Groovy. Hey. That's my uh, Fonzie impression. Hey. I think it's quite good, actually. Hey. So I, um, I'm growing my hair and so I'm thinking, to, I mean, I do have a hood on my 
jacket but I do also have a woolly hat and there's this like conundrum because if I wear the woolly hat I'm thinking I might lose some of my sex appeal to the other passengers on the bus <laughs> and um and then I remember if I actually don't have my hat on I look like the professor out of uh, Back to the Future so kind of mm, you know and I grow my beard long as well or well, I'm going to grow it long because it's still fairly short so I'm going to I'm going to look a right mess actually that's that's my plan. It's uh I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a very good plan really, is it? But for some reason it appeals to me. The idea of just letting everything just grow and just go wild kind of appeals to me, you know strange and unusual manner yeah I don't know why so what's the day today I don't know what the date is but it's Monday I know it's the 22nd on Sunday so 22nd Sunday 21st Saturday 20th Friday 19th Thursday 18th Wednesday Tuesday 16th Monday 15th or which would have been a lot easier Friday the 13th Saturday the 14th Sunday 15th Monday the 16th so today is the 16th of December 2019 and we're what about 8 days away from Xmas so what, what day is it now 14 13, 14, 16. So we've got 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So nine days away from Christmas Day. And which means 10 days until Boxing Day. And then 11 days until we can just get back on with our lives again. So, was it Thursday? Sunday's the 22nd. Monday's the 23rd. Tuesday's the 24th, which is Christmas Eve. So Tuesday's Christmas Eve. Wednesday's Christmas Day. Thursday's Boxing Day Friday will just be an ordinary day and Saturday will just be an ordinary day Sunday it's it's a, just not a lot happening on Sunday around here Monday just an ordinary day then Tuesday is New Year's Eve Wednesday is is New Year's Day Thursday just an ordinary day and Friday the 3rd of January 2020 another ordinary day so that would be lovely I have to think of a new competition, but I do have an idea. I do.
do have an idea and it's going to be it's going to be something especially groovy it really is going to be really really cool really really groovy so I hope you like but I won't spoil the surprise right now because um, I've got no idea what it's going to be even I just said I did I've got an idea so I do have an idea but I don't have any idea but I have an, I have, have an idea but no you know solid um, theoretical proposal to verbalize to you at this time because I don't currently know which way I'm going to go when it comes to the competition in January two thousand and twenty so tired just uh, just sitting in this chair my eyes are closed and so easy to drift off So easy to mm. I got this book. This book uh, I was going to read out of it
count down from 20 down to 1. asleep while I'm doing it. That's okay. Twenty. Yeah, twenty down to one. Sixteen.
Sí.